When I first reverted and every time I spoke to my dad, I would get horrible texts of, you know, um, you, you're crazy, you're mentally unwell for believing in Islam. How do you believe that there is someone in the sky? Um, and that, you know, just so many crazy things. Um, and then I just sort of took a step back because I thought this is not good for me and this is not good for my mental health. And every time I speak to my dad, I'm feeling anxious. I'm feeling not doubts, but I'm just feeling it, it's not good for my religion. So I kind of took a step back and, you know, subhanAllah, make dua. And um, I haven't spoken to my dad in 11 months now. And then one night during the retreat, I got a text from my dad. I got a text from my dad, yeah. Um, just saying that he is proud of me. Um, but, you know, obviously he's not proud. Obviously he's not proud of my religion, but you know, at least he's proud of me. And that's all we can ask for now. But it's such a... I just repress it, I want to say, like, whenever I think deeply about it, I just... I, if I thought about it all the time this deep, I'd just cry and cry and cry, but you just... You try and just move and live on, you know? Yeah, it's hard. You wish, you wish your dad would be proud of you. You wish they would love you unconditionally, but they don't. They love your under conditions and unfortunately because I'm a Muslim that means my dad's disowned me.